here. And now it says live. <laughs> hey everybody, it's Margaret from Texas Gal Treasures, and I am bringing you a haul video live. <laughs> I noticed that a couple of my other live videos, it was kind of choppy, and I'm seeing it now too. Chop, chop, chop. There it goes. It's better. It's better. So it may chop out here and there. Why? I don't know. Um, but I see in the chat that Tanya is there and Diana is there. Hello, hello, how are you? Thanks for coming to watch live. I wanted to get a haul video in because I like to do that and I, I entered my um, intro stuff into a spreadsheet and then I like to share. Um, yeah, so I've gone thrifting sort of three times this week. Once was the thrift store, just my one of my favorite thrift stores. One was a garage sale from the lady that does the house cleanouts, and then the third one was the auction, <laughs> which I kind of forgot that I did, but I didn't expect to win because it was like late at night in the hospital, and I was like, let's see what's going on with the auction. Oh, it closes tomorrow. Let me bid on a few things. Bid, and then just forgot about it, and then I got a call saying, hey, Margaret, you want to do lots. You want to come pick them up? <laughs> Oops. So I did. All right. Hello, hello in the chat. Uh, I see Maggie Doodle is there and Amelia. Thank you for coming. And yes, it was supposed to rain really bad today. They kept talking about this horrible weather. Maybe it's coming later. I don't know. Hi, Dane. Oh, I'm going to say that wrong, I hope. Dane, maybe I'm saying that right. Hello. Okay, so I'm going to start with the thrift store. I spent, ooh, not a lot. So I'll just go through bit by bit. I picked up a um, crab, a Thai one, and then I realized that I'm closing down my antique booth, if you didn't know this. I, I turned in my notice yesterday because, one, I'm having trouble making money. That's a good reason. And then, two, with what's going on with my mom, it's going to, I'll have even more time commitments elsewhere. So I normally I pick these up and put them in my booth. Um, but I already have a bunch there. So when I bring them home, I I think I'm going to lot them up and then see. But he was only 50 cents, so no biggie. No biggie. Let's see. I'm going to try to keep up with the chat, too. So thrifty treasure. That's Tanya says, the sun is shining. Go figure, right? And th there were no garage sales planned, pretty much, because of all the bad weather they were saying. LV Looper. Yay, you're here. And let's see. Who else? There, yeah, Tanya said I'm leaving the booth. Yes, this is true. Okay, I also picked up this Aladdin box. This is like the uh, lunchbox brand, but um, but I couldn't find it. Like, I, I even typed in bread box. I was looking to see like what what would this go for? Because I I put my numbers down here. Let me see if I can get them lined up right so I can tell you. Um. So I have no idea what this is going to sell for because I couldn't find anything quite like it. And honestly, if my kids see it, they may steal it to put their Legos in. So that's that. Let's see. Tanya says she bought ties for a quarter this morning. That's good. That's good. I sell them usually for like five bucks in the booth. I mean, some sit and then the next time you come in, like 10 of them are gone. So, And then I picked up this little uh, Gottinger silver box. It needs to be cleaned up a bit. And it was a dollar. I'm going to clean it up. Or again, my kids like little boxes to put treasures in, so they may end up stealing it. We'll see. <laughs> so there's that. But I, I did put, if I sell it, because I did research, that it would, I would put about 10 bucks on it maybe. So maybe I'll sell it. Maybe I'll sell it. Let's see. Hey, Leisure Picker. How's it going? $14.95. I'm sure you're an answering somebody, not me. <laughs> I don't know. Okay. Then the next thing I picked up was, a, is this is a total risk. I was like, yeah, I'll give it a try. It's these Argentina Tango coasters. Here we go. Oh, you think I should put $14.95 on the trinket box? Oh, okay. So these are some sort of, oh, I didn't see him. These are Tango Argentina coasters. And I paid $3 for them for me, which is a high for me when I don't know what I'm going to do with them or if they will sell. But I know that there are people that tango and they're, that's it with their thing. So I picked them up for $3, and I'm thinking I'm going to sell them for 15 to 20 That's what I'm put on them. I'm going to put on them. All right. And then I also picked up this vintage. I don't think it's a reproduction one, from what I can tell. A vintage um, pasta holder. Casa Via Variccio. 
And, you know, like I'll check, you know, if it's a um, reproduction, usually you'll find some sort of copyright somewhere along the bottom or along one of the seams. And I didn't find anything like that. Um, so I wonder if I can screen share because I have all my windows up. Let me see if I can screen share for you. I may be so out of order, though. Oh, I am. Bug. Scraggle. Let me see if I can find it. Oh, my gosh. Maybe you don't care. Do you want a screen share or no? <laughs> you don't need to see that. There's that. This is so fun watching me like click things you can't see. <laughs> vintage tins. Go, vintage tins. I'm trying to find the one so I can show it to you. Well, I have a, oh, here it is. Here it is. Okay, I'm going to screen share. Here we go. Screen sharing in three, two, one, and there it is. So here you can see the these are solds of the tin that I was showing you. This one says best offer accepted, but still, I mean, I think I can get ten bucks for this tin that I paid a quarter for. So I think that's pretty good. There, see, I paid a quarter for it. So you know, a quarter into ten bucks is not too bad. I mean, I like a bigger profit than that, but I'll take it. I'll take it. I'm okay with that. <laughs> yeah, I got another vintage tin there too. There we go, and it's a big one. I debated because it's so dang big. Look at it. It is huge. It's bigger than my head, which some people would say was impossible. <laughs> but it is a Sunshine Biscuits American Homestead Autumn and Spring Cookie Tin. The pictures, I guess, this is autumn and this is spring. So this one I paid 50 cents for. And... Let me put it over here. <laughs> I see you LOLing at me, Tanya. Uh, and let's see. I'm going to screen share again. I'm going to screen share. Because I, I pulled up all these windows when I thought I was just going to make a regular video so I could do the side-by-side -side thing. Um, so here it is. Vintage cookie tin. These are, these are not sold. These are just random what people have up. Did I find any sold? I don't know that I did. Oh, that's that Gottinger. That's what I was trying to when I was doing this one. Uh, something like that. Whoa. Oh, that was for the tin or the little. Oh, secrets. Secrets. Stop. <laughs> Darn it. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so, yeah, I um, now I've got all my things all over the place down here. Where's my list? Where's my list? Give it back. Uh, that tin, maybe I should have done this as a regular video. I'm thinking I'll put like 10 to 15 bucks on the big tin. Again, not a huge profit, but but still fun. And then I picked up, this is the last item, I think, from the thrift store. This was a dollar, and it's a baby snapshot photo album. Um, and it's got the Beatrix Potter characters on it. And when I looked this up, I was seeing... Leisure Picker said, something to be said for turning 25 cents into $10. That's a dollar into $40. Yeah, that's true. Okay. This is true. Um, baby snapshot book. Where are we? Oh, yeah. So I'm probably going to put between 10 and, I mean, 15 and $20 on this Beatrix Potter photo album. So yay. Yeah. There's here. Okay, so that was the thrift store pickups. Oh, there is one more thing that I picked up from the thrift store, and it was sent here straight from hell, by the way. And it's this. <laughs> See? This thing, I picked it up for fun. And it turns out that it was sent from the devil to irritate the heck out of me. It says, wave a magnet under the discs, and can you make them all the same color? <laughs> I may be, this may be the surprise prize for the, <laughs> for the giveaway because I need it out of my house. See, so you take a magnet, here's a fridge magnet, and you're trying to turn all these little discs to like be the same color. I have probably wasted like half an hour today trying to do it. <laughs> so this I picked up at the thrift store as well. I've never seen anything like it. Maybe I'll sell it. I don't know. But yeah, it's just like impossible to make them all the same. <laughs> Get away from me. <laughs> I don't know if y'all can hear that. Okay. I must have Facebook open somewhere because I can hear it going pudding, pudding. But I can't find it. Okay, we'll just try to ignore it for now. Hang on, witchcraft. Yes. Okay, I'm I'm muting my chat on my phone right now because 
<laughs> because my they're me messaging and it's Facebook is on somewhere in my computer and I can't find it. Witchcraft, yes. Okay, next garage sale. I went over to see my it, her name is Jenny. I think I've, I've told you guys that in the last one. Who has the, she does the house cleanouts and uh, I'll show you what I picked up with her. I spent thirty five dollars with her. Some of the things I'm keeping. Some of the things are are going to be sold. When I averaged everything out, when I took, I take out the things I'm going to keep, and then I kind of just throw the total at the rest of the items and average it out. So everything ended up being about a buck ninety five each, and then the things I keep, I just count as free. So I picked up this Chanel um, powder. It's Chanel number no. five after bath powder, and it's been opened and everything, but I still think, still think I can sell it. I figured why not? So there's that. And what did I put? I thought that I'd put 20 to 25 on it because I saw them going new for like 45 to 50. I'm going to open a drink. I'm going to open a drink. And then I also picked up, if you saw my last haul, you saw that I had, um, I picked up a lot of these from her. Like in the last one, I think there were like eight or nine of them. This time <laughs> I got like 11 more. And these ones are Skin Sensuals, and they are some sort of matte UV defense sunscreen stuff. Um, and they're brand new, unopened. And she said, I bet you're wondering why I have so many of those. She said the lady whose house she's cleaning out closed up her um, dermatology practice, and she had all of these leftovers. Um, but they're going for about 25 bucks a piece, and she sold them to me. Well, originally it was a dollar, but when I – averaged everything out because I took stuff out they end up being almost two dollars each one of the boxes is torn but cool right I know somebody sees my diet dr. pepper somebody LV looper I don't when people do that and they're doing videos like somebody in the chat said I'm like just say the name and then here I did it <laughs> maybe it's unconscious uh, okay next up I've got some glasses cases these are some Chanel glasses cases which I know, Tanya, I took pictures of them this morning. Um, this is Chanel glasses cases, and I saw I'll probably sell them for between 10 and 15 bucks. I need to find out. I mean, I saw some up there, but I thought they were like super picky about selling brand name stuff. I mean, they're not fake. Maybe it's the fakes. I don't know. Tell me what you think. So there's these ones, and then I'm telling you, Tanya. <laughs> She's hosting, she's doing her first estate sale next weekend, so we can go to that together, she was telling me. Okay, so, and then this one is a Tiffany & Company. It's got a little ding in it there. I don't know if you can see it. There's like a little, little ding. Anyway, so Tiffany & Company glasses case. You'd keep this one or you'd keep the Chanel one? Which one do you like? We can work it out. <laughs> Let's make a deal. <laughs> Tell me what you want. You scratch my back, I scratch yours. <laughs> I also picked up, when I was there, I picked up some Pokemon cards and a Lego keychain that had Emmett on it, but those went straight to my boys. You want the Chanel one? Okay. <laughs> we can work it out. And then I picked up this for my husband. Um, I just liked that it was, it's this little like ratchet. Are those ratchets? Are those ratchets? They're sockets or something and screwdriver -y things. Um, a nice little kit. Like he needs more tools, but I just liked it. Okay, you do. He's back there folding laundry. <laughs> okay, so let's see. I'm looking in the uh, chat to see if I'm missing anything. Thanks so much for watching. We have 26 viewers. Thanks, guys. Um, I picked up uh, some movies. This one, for now, I'm, I'm saying we're keeping it because I think we've got it, Princess and the Frog. Um, so this is not in my numbers because I think we're going to keep this one. I think I told you guys before the... My boys and I played, and my husband, played the headbands game. We, Tanya and I found at the thrift store the Disney one. And I was surprised how many of the characters the boys didn't know. They didn't know it uh, because we don't watch a lot of them. So I, I'm on a mission to find different Disney movies to show them. They have seen this. But they have not seen dun, 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 these two. Where's the other one? They have not seen these two. So... Not that they want to watch princess movies, but I think it's important that they at least like get the references if somebody talks about it, that they'll know what they're talking about, you know? There we go. So Sleeping Beauty and Mulan will stay with us at least until the boys have seen it. 
And then we may lot up some Disney movies to sell. Maggie says, oh, tools. My husband loves to buy tools that sit in the garage. Mine do. <laughs> they should get together. <laughs> LV Looper said that tool set, that, that tool set at an amusement park with ski ball tickets. What? You could get this with ski ball tickets? Oh, so this is not like a fancy one? Anyway, I don't know. Plastic candle, is that the problem? Because of the plastic candle? Well, I didn't pay much for it, so that's cool. I'm okay with it. It's useful. That's what I was telling him. It's small. You can, like throw it in your car or in the console if, just in case you need to screw something. Exactly. Oops. Um, I also picked up a couple of sealed DVDs, which I'm not cleared for. <laughs> no, you're right. It is probably cheap. I don't know anything about tools. So, um, so I picked up Sin City. This is all sealed up. And since I can't sell them on Amazon, I was looking at um, Amazon, I mean, uh, eBay, and it's probably going to go for about five bucks. But if I can't sell it, uh, I might just put it on local garage sale site for five bucks. So I don't have to worry about the fees and stuff. Excuse me. Uh, <laughs> LV Looper says he used Gorilla Glue to glue his handle back together. And then I picked up this sealed Michael Jackson video, Greatest Hits. And this one, when I looked it up, it was going for about $15 to $20 new sealed. So that's what I will, I will put it at. Um, hey, Randy, can you do me a favor? I left something on the little table over there. The little seesaw thing. And the, and the frog. And the frog. I left some things on the other table over there. No, the fox is Tanya's. <laughs> Leave the fox there. <laughs> Tanya's box is still sitting there. Okay, so these are two more things. Hey, Randy. You want to say hi? No, no okay. <laughs> there he is. Hey! <laughs> and if you if you just came in, all of the things that we picked up uh, at this garage sale averaged out to be about $1.95 each. So then I also picked up this just because I thought it was so cute. It's a little, like, seesaw. And these little, like, what are they? Like, Asian kids or Chinese. They've got the top knot. They've got a little top knot. That makes me think they're Chinese, but I could be totally wrong. Isn't it cute? I have no idea if it's worth anything, <laughs> but I bought it just because it was cute, right? Do, 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 do. I'm going to put it on Etsy and eBay. <laughs> Tanya says, hi. And then this one I was so tempted to keep because I love cool frog print stuff. And it's a big, heavy brass frog, frog prints, and he's got a bouquet of flowers holding behind his back. Um, and I couldn't find one exactly like him. I found one similar um, that was going for $45. But I am going to put at least $50 on him. Where is he? I'm going to put $50 plus on him. But just because he's so cool, I think he'll, he'll sell well. And he's super duper heavy. Kiss me. Kiss me. Like that. <laughs> Isn't it cool? I think I could get $50 for him. What do you think? I think I can. I think I can. I think I can. So there is that. That is the garage sale part of the haul. And the last part of the haul is from the auction. Have you not? Okay, I'm going to screen share. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to screen share as soon as I hide this other thing that I didn't want you to see originally. Close that. Close that. I'm closing out some windows. <laughs> right? 50 bucks. That's what I'm thinking. 50 bucks. Closing windows that we've already talked about. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. I think I just closed out the wrong window. Ah. Edit. History. Undo that. I want that back. <laughs> and then I can screen share for you. It's loading. Do -do -do. I am silence. I am the silence and that is looking for the frog. There it is. Ooh, that's a little different. Okay, here we go. I'm going to screen share. Hey, Catherine, in the chat, screen sharing time. So I see one that is similar, like similar, but that is like a hundred bucks. Look at this one: rare brass frogs with crown and wings, vintage Brothers Grimm. Oh, good keyword, whoever you are. Do you see that one? It looks like the same style. I wonder if I can open them. Open. It's not letting me. There we go. Look, it's the same kind of style, isn't it? But he's got wings, and he's got his hands behind his back. Ooh. I mean, it's not sold, but hey. There was another one that I saw that was going for $45. I can't find it now. There he is. That's got just his, his hands behind his back. But it's the same style, so I bet it's made by the same 
company. Ooh, there's a tag down there. Let's see if we can see it. What's the tag say? Oh, you person, you need to have a close-up of the tag. Genuine brass. Oh. <laughs> okay. Stop. Screen share. There we go. Okay, so that is 79. Oh, good idea. Good idea. $74.99 or best offer. Okay, yay. We're still at 29 viewers. Yay. Okay, now for the auction. I won two lots. The first lot, boom, was this cat which you saw a sneak peek of. It is a cast iron black cat bank. It is made to look like a vintage bank. This is how you open it. You open it with a screwdriver. But look, it's a Phillips head screwdriver. So that kind of tells you it's not that old. Um, so yeah, that was cool. This one was $11. That's my win. 10, 10 or 11, let me look. Hello, Darlene. Hello, Michelle. Hello. Does it look like your cat? My boys would love another cat. Okay, the cat was $10. Cool. And then everything else, um, all the other items you're about to see averaged out to be a buck ten a piece. So we'll, well, we'll show you what I've got. And the rest of it was all lotted together like one big lot. So there was this cork box, which I'm thinking I'm going to try to sell the actual cork box for oh i'm so out of order for maybe like seven bucks and the reason being is that it's kind of torn right there if it won't sell maybe i ought to just like have it be like a toss um and then it's full of these matchbooks so i've got a whole bunch of matchbooks to sell i'm thinking 15 dollars or more or i could just leave them together and sell them together i don't know what do you think <laughs> what do you think so all of these matchbooks some are cool some are pretty common but I guess most places don't really do matchbooks anymore. This one's in German. But there are a lot that are just like Crown Plaza, you know, that kind of thing. Uh, any, any more cool ones? Nottingham Pub. None that are really, really super unusual. There was one that looked really vintage. This one's called Judy's. Judy's. Okay, so all of that, I'm thinking seven bucks probably for the cork box. I don't know, it's torn, so I don't know. But then maybe the whole thing for $15, $20 or more. That can go over there. Am I going too fast? Or are you good? You guys good? Then the next thing I found, not found, but the next thing in the lot, here I'll go to this one. Is this now this one I really honestly don't know how to price. This is a scrapbook. And basically someone, it's really, really, they taped all these pictures inside, like cuttings from magazines and stuff. So there, it's like some teenage girl that cut out pictures of famous people from magazines and little ads for dresses and things. There is a calendar in here, so it helps me date it. Let me find the calendar. Where are you, calendar? Here we go. Katie Keene, there's her, and then it's a calendar, which is 1955. So isn't it cool? And it's got all kinds of clippings. You know, here's Betty Grable, an ad from a magazine with Betty Grable in it. Where do I go from here? Asks Betty Grable. Isn't that cool? But honest to goodness, I don't know what I'm going to put on it. Here's one, Shelly Winters with her new baby. <laughs> anyway, so yeah, I mean, it was super cool, but I just really don't know. What did I say in my, in my notes? What did I put? I am looking for it in my notes, and I don't see it. Uh-oh. Maybe I should do a scrapbook. I put 10 or more dollars. So let's see. Hello, Etsy does match. Yeah, I'll, I can put them on Etsy. Judy's was a clothing store in the 60s. Okay, so that's what those Judy's matches are. Katie King is a paper doll. Oh, cool. Awesome scrapbook. But yeah, I'm like, since I don't know, I mean, I put that I would ask $10 or more. I think I could get more than 10 bucks though, but I just really didn't know. I thought, I, I thought you, you guys could help me. Somebody there. There's a hairstyle. She's got a hairstyle clipping, and it's just full, full of clippings of stuff, you know. It's really neat. The Bandwagon, that's a good movie. There's Marilyn and Betty Grable hanging, you know. So anyway, that's that. Again, I don't know what I'm going to put on it. And then this picture, this was cool. It's got a 
I've got notes on the back that helps me a lot. And it's the, uh, this picture is a true copy of the ancient miraculous image of our mother of perpetual health and has been touched to the original, which is venerated in the Redemp Redemptorist Church of Saint Alfonso in Rome. So I guess it's important that this has actually been touched to the actual original image, I think, is what it's leading us to believe. So there is this picture, definitely more, more than 10 on the scrapbook. I think you're right. When, but the research that I did, I just couldn't find anything that was, um, let me see what I find. Am I, I pulled up all this stuff and then realized I'm not doing a whole video the, right, the way I normally do it. So let's see. Oh, dear. I couldn't find anything like it. I think that's St. Alfonso's pancake breakfast. <laughs> I am looking. That's the cat. Oh, I just closed up the cat. Oh, darn it. Uh -huh. Here we go. So t here we go. I'm going to show you this picture and what I found about it. What I found, I don't know. Like, so these are where, share. Okay, so here we go. Look. <laughs> this is a framed art print. Okay, here's a four by five. That's kind of what I've got, a four by five for 22 bucks. At first, I, when I looked at the lot, I didn't even, there's a couple of religious images that I didn't pay that close of attention to. But then when I started looking it up, I was like, oh, maybe I ought to pay closer attention. I mean, here, oh, that's 25. But there was another one I saw. Here we go. This one's 15, one bid. These are solds. These are, uh, yeah, these are solds. So, I mean, I still could get, you know, 15 or so dollars on that, which was a surprise. Okay, Facebook is open somewhere. <laughs> so, yeah, that, you know, I'll probably put 15 to 20 on that one. Which, like I said, I was not expecting. That was not why I bid on the lot. I'll show you at the end why I bid on the lot. I'm closing out. I'm closing out some other. There's a book, since I have it up. And this book is called, what? What's the Answer? And it's got lots of trivia type questions in there. And don't confuse them. What's the difference between Tarantella and tarantula what's the difference between a gossoon and a bassoon oh boy maybe i need this because i'm doing interviews and people need i need interview questions and i might need this for my interview if your firm sent you to nicaragua would you sail for africa west indies central america or south america hmm general quiz hmm oh i already read that one to you <laughs> uh oh what is horse billiards? I'd like to know. Anyway, we'll find out later. <laughs> right? <laughs> I need this book, right? What am I going to ask Jason? <laughs> I wonder if Jason's watching. No, no spoilers. No spoilers. <laughs> what do these three, three things have in common? I'll ask him. Giraffe, toy dog, catnip. <laughs> I totally need this book. Okay, we can just flip it. We'll play like flip. Tell me when to stop. Stop. And I point to the question. I think I have a new book. <laughs> it wasn't selling for that much anyway. Ask him a rum question. That's the thing. Everybody asks rum stuff. So I want to ask him different stuff like, why are your underwear so holy? <laughs> but I think we figured that out too. So <laughs> um, where did I put that book in my on my list. I'm looking down because I have my uh, spreadsheet down here. These are questions that keep me up at night. You have real this. This is true. Hey, Tarantella song, Tarantula, yikes, vintage, Chris oh, Christelle, I hope I said that right. Okay, the book, oh my gosh, oh my gosh, where is it? It doesn't matter now that I'm not selling it. It was only going for between like 7 and $10. So I think it's worth more for me keeping it than it is for me selling it. Okay, next up, I picked up, well, I didn't pick it up. Like I said, it was all in the lot. Like I need more porcelain in my life because my grandmother didn't have enough. But there was, there were some porcelain pieces in here. <laughs> that again, like I said, they, I may try to list a couple of them. I mean, the quality is okay. I'm sorry if, if you painted this and you think it's beautiful, but um, it is beautiful, but the quality is, the painting is okay. So, I mean, I may, I may try to sell a couple of them. This one 
And then this this leaf one with all the gold leafing on it. Um, so these two I'll probably try to sell. And like to 10 or 15 bucks on them. We'll see. We'll see. Uh, and the other two, uh, they may just go in the donate pile. I don't know. We'll see. Because I don't, I don't know. I guess because I have so much. And my grandmother and, and the friends that she bought from painted such high quality stuff that, I don't know. <laughs> we'll see. Uh, we'll see how it goes. Like, I don't need, uh, I need more stuff to, to sell. All right, this was in there too. If I can find the pen that goes with it. Where's the pen? I don't know which is which. Okay, pen. It's a railroad tie pen. <laughs> totally random. Uh, pen holder for your desk. All right, and this one, what did I say I was going to sell it for? Oh, about $10, railroad tie, pen holder. There was another one, but it, it's broken. It's a piece of agate, but I might still be able to sell the piece of agate. I don't know. I think that's agate, isn't it? I think so. And it's broken off, the pen part came off. And it looks like there was something else, too. It may end up in the donate pile, though. We'll see. We'll see. Do people buy the pins? Like, if they wanted just this part? I wonder. What do you think? Like, could I sell just the vintage pin that goes on it? We'll find out. We will find out. Tanya, why are you messaging me right now? <laughs> you know I can't answer. <laughs> and then there were two wedding photos. <clears throat> this is the first. Oh, there's writing on the back. I didn't read that. Okay. Uh, Leopoldo Lopez E. from Laredo, Texas, from Laredo, Texas. Uh, Maestro, it's in Spanish and in cursive. Quiredos, hermanos, contado, I don't know. Suhermat, nah. Anyway, so there they are, beautiful. And it did say, um, that they were, this was taken in Monterey, Mexico. That's where the uh, photo place was. So this lovely couple, isn't she pretty? Look at her. Aww. And then this one is also, I believe, I believe this one was also a, a Mexican couple here. Look how happy they are starting their new life together. Isn't that sweet? They both look so happy. So anyway, um, these wedding photos, I don't know if I'll sell them separately or as a lot. Doesn't she look like 20s? It looks like 20s right there, doesn't it? Oh, here it's uh, 3130. So maybe that's 1930s? Maybe that's the month? I can't read. September maybe? 31st, 1930? Maybe. Cool. Or else it's, no, that doesn't make sense. Okay. <laughs> When you think things that don't make sense. So I was like five to ten bucks on those. I have no idea. Mid-century people would buy that pen. That's what I was thinking. Right? Because it's different. Let's see how the refill looks. You can refill it with like a normal looking pet. Springs. <laughs> Spring works. <laughs> okay, okay. Here we go. Next, we have got an autographed photo of Mikhail Baryshnikov. And it is autographed. And I did check to see if that's what his signature looks like. And it is. So other ones. Now, what I was looking for, look for a name on the pen. OK, hang on. I don't see one. I'll have to look when I open it. I saw on the refill, it's at Stanford, but I don't see one on here. Um, when I was looking at how much his um, autograph pictures go for. If he is wearing, if he's dancing in it, it's more. If he's got his shirt off, it's more, <laughs> etc. So I'm not sure how much the autographed picture of mm, Barishnikov will go for, but I put 25 plus. Let me see if I can find it, my uh, research down here, and I will show you. Maybe I didn't pull that part. Aha, I found you Facebook and I'm closing it up. Closing up shop. Okay, I know, I know, I know that I pulled up. He was in Sex in the City. Yeah, yeah. He's a handsome dude, you know. He's a handsome dude. I'm not going to close those yet in case you 
I don't see why. I know I pulled it up, but now I can't find that I did pull up his. Mm -mm. Nope. Nope. Anyway, so we'll see what it goes for. There's some damage here, and I can't, I'll have to take it out of the frame and see if it's just stuck on there or if it's water damage or what. So we'll see. That's a. Nick was teasing me that I say we'll see a lot. We'll see. We'll see. <laughs> and then I have a picture of. Jesus, and it has some writing on the back. I will have to do some research because I guess it kind of varies. Like, I think this is a pretty common one, though. A pretty common picture. Did I close out everything? No, I did not. So, this was all, yeah, this was all in the lot. This is the whole lot, except for the cat. Uh, I don't know. I put like five bucks on him. I don't know. It's a nice picture, though, but I think it's one that you see frequently. And then, <laughs> I know, the box that keeps on giving. And we still haven't gotten to the part that I actually, why I bid on it. So then there's this picture of Elizabeth, Queen Elizabeth I, and it's all gold. And down here, it's, you know, got, it's like the rubbing of her. There we go. And Elizabeth, I am going to put probably like 25 bucks on it. Um, and there's... Some information on the back about her and her picture. Like, sir, I have got to get over shipping break like this. Like, I get nervous about shipping that. Look, you can see my table and <laughs> the reflection. Um, yeah, I'm super nervous about the breakage. The breakage. We're still going. And then we've got this Toy Story lithograph here. That was in the lot too, and like I said, everything averaged out to be about a buck ten a piece because I think I was like twenty two dollars for that lot, and so the lithograph is going not that much really. Oh, where are you? Mm, I put five bucks, so maybe I'm going to put it on my um, garage sale for like five bucks because it wasn't anything major. Okay, we ready? We ready for the reason I actually got the whole lot? Put this down down here. I'll give you a hint, and the hint looks like this. And this, and this. Ouija board, Ouija board, Ouija board. Would you help me? If you're freaked out by the occult, <laughs> three Ouija boards, three of them. So there's this one. The re and I have to figure out which one, planchette, I think is what you call it, goes with which board because they're all different. So this Ouija board, Parker Brothers Inc. And like I was looking them up and I've got to figure out how to date them because ones that are older go for way more money, like hundreds. And ones that are um, newer, like this one is Parker Brothers, so it's it's William Fun Fold, but it's you know Parker Brothers. And then I've got a couple here that are William Fold, but they're not taken over by Parker Brothers. So there's this one. I guess you want to see the board. Th this one has got a, some um, damage to the board right there, but that's okay. And then I'll show you the next two. This, the, I may have to scoot back because they're really big. The other two are big. Really big. So they're super duper big. Really, really big. See, that's the packaging for this one. And like I said, I've got to figure out how to date them. Where did I drop? The box is kind of tattered and all, but here's the board for this one. And it's just really large. <laughs> it's in pretty good shape, though, the, the board is. And then the other one, the packaging looks similar, but I, I think it's a little bit older. Okay, here we go. I mean, this one says copyright 1919 on the back, but I don't think it's 1919. That would be something, wouldn't it? This is the only one that has any kind of date on it. So I mean, it says copyright 1919, but the others don't have any dates. And like I said, it's it's kind of like too good to be true to believe. Like, yeah, this is from 1919, but who knows? So yeah, I've got to figure out how to date them because there's, I mean, a huge amount of money to be made if they're really old, you know, in the hundreds. And I also have to figure out which, like, because two of these are kind of plastic. One of them is wooden. 
So I have to figure out, you know, I've got cardboard bits on me. Um, I have to figure out which one of these goes with which board. So I have a little more research to do. And they, like I said, will be, where did it go? I lost it. Wait, there it went. Between $15 and $100, depending, depending on which, um, what they end up being year-wise. Um, so, yeah. Let's see. Let me get back to the chat. Now I need to wash my hands. <laughs> uh, Tanya, okay, let's see, going back a little further. Catherine says she loves the religious stuff. You had that picture, she had that picture of Jesus. And Gabrielle, I hope I'm saying your name right, she says she loves the Elizabeth piece. Um, do they sell? I have one. Oh, I don't know, because I, I don't know. I haven't sold it. Um, you used to have the same one. Tanya says, it's really cool. I hope they sell for big money and fast. Got to get that out of the house. <laughs> of the Ouija boards. Well, I figure with the picture of Jesus next to it and the Lady, Our Lady of Perpetual Help, they'll, they'll take care of me. I'll just keep them in the box together. I'll make sure the Ouija boards sell before their religious pictures. <laughs> Protect me, Jesus. Protect me from the Ouija. Don't let the Ouija get me. Where's the Lady of Perpetual Help? All right, my lady. All right, Jesus. <laughs> Don't let those weeds get me. Okay. <laughs> I'll put them together. <laughs> uh, leisure Breaker, collectible stuff there. Like you say, the older ones especially. And Catherine says, what a juxtaposition with the Ouija boards and the religious stuff along with Elizabeth. Right? It's just like random. But I saw the three Ouija boards and I was like, yeah, I'll go, I'll go for it. They look old. I don't, you know. Yeah. So we'll see how they do. <laughs> You were in three churches today. Oh, you must have had like three church garage sales or yard sales or something. I wonder if spirits become trapped in you. It is entertainment value only. <laughs> but then again, here I am about to send out like good luck charms to people. So what do I know? <laughs> okay, so that's the haul. Um, I hope you enjoyed. I don't even know how long I've been going on. So I don't know. Um, yeah, if you haven't already, go over and check out. I have a, a giveaway going on that is, you know, for the Neil Gaiman book, a good luck charm that I'm going to send, and a surprise prize, which I promise won't be the magnets from Hades. But you never know. It is a surprise. Um, legend has it that the very first Ouija boards are fireproof. <laughs> you want me to set it on fire to find out? <laughs> Release them into the neighborhood. No. <laughs> oh, my Ouija board is from the mid 50s. Have to get my parents to send it to me. Yeah, like I said, I'm going to have to do a little bit of research to find out how old these ones are. We'll find out. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Okay. So go check out the giveaway. Uh, I'm going to close that up Friday. And tomorrow I'm uploading the video Randy and I did of our Munch Pack unboxing. It's super fun. Randy and I had a lot of fun doing it. Um, and we, it's, it was done like a week ago, and poor Randy's waiting. He's like, what do they say? Do they like it? I'm like, I don't know. I haven't uploaded it yet. So tomorrow, that'll come up. And then that's it. Tuesday, I'm going to interview Jason. That'll be fun. That's it. Anybody else in the chat? Y'all have anything else for me? Legend. Okay, that's the last chat comment I read. Okay, all right. I think that's it. Thanks so much for coming in live. The boys are getting restless. Uh-oh. Um, Stop playing with the doors, boys. Not safe. I can just see, like, fingers getting smushed. Okay. All right, you guys, thanks so much for watching. Um, make sure you subscribe. Hit that like button down below. And I'll talk to you later. Bye. Ah, somebody's coming. <laughs>